high school. He's a good quarterback, and uh, just having him back is a good feeling. I really haven't played with him at all since uh, that state championship game my senior year. So just having him back is good. Is that weird having him back? Uh, yeah, it is kind of weird because I never thought we'd be playing together. I know uh, in high school he's always say, "Yeah, I never go to Virginia," but now he ended up here. So. <laughs> Do you have anything to do with that? Did you talk to him much or pretty much talk to him after it was all uh, Yeah, I tried to keep up with him because I know the controversy that was going on down there. So I just tried to keep him up, you know, and just talk to him every time and just tell him don't give up and just keep working no matter what happens. How much did you talk to him about coming here when he started to think I might end up in Virginia? Did you give him the lay of the land or talk to him about what it would be like coming here? Uh, yeah, I talked to him about it and I just told him, you know, whatever you decide to do is like I'm here. I have two more years, so whatever you decide to do, I mean, I'm gonna work with you, whatever it takes to get you on the field and compete for that spot, and I'm willing to do. How much influence do you think you had? Uh, I think I had a, a good amount of influence, just knowing he had somebody here that uh, that knows him in and out. Uh, like I said, in high school, we played together with good friends, and uh, we were just always there for each other, whether they want to fill off the field. What does he bring to this team? <laughs> Uh, he just brings another level of quarterback. I feel like um, David and Rocco have elements that are different from each other, but he like brings them together, sort of, kind of. So um, just having them here, just help them compete each and every day. I see David out there working hard and Rocco working hard, and that's what we need. How are they different? How, how are Rocco and, and Sid different? Um, well, right now, Rocco knows everything in this offense, and he's a great um, game manager like, as far as time goes, and um, just trying to help uh, bring Phil up to that level. What was it like in games, sort of that first half of the season, when it was going back and forth between quarterbacks? Was that okay with you, or was it kind of frustrating to deal with in the game? Um, it wasn't too bad with me, but what y'all did see behind the scenes is that receiver was also had a little rotation going in as well. So it was all kind of different, but you just had to stay focused, whether it was me and Bird starting or Matt and Bird. So we just had a lot going on. But then at the middle of the year, we really like just put it together and just put it in stone who was starting. You're kind of going to be the man on the outside now. How much are you relishing that opportunity to kind of step up in the spot? Uh, just taking it and running with it. Um, every day I work, I work on the deep routes and everything, and I'm also working on, with the more stuff across the middle because this year I'm taking Chris Bird's spot, and he was like a middle guy and a good blocking guy. So just everything that I didn't do last year, I'm trying to do more and more.